rend les choses faciles. Et c'est chez moi ces larmes de crocodile. What's up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. Today, we are in the new 2019 Hyundai Veloster N, courtesy of Jack G and Bob on Hyundai in York, PA. And needless to say, I am quite excited to be in this one, this six-speed manual with an amazing exhaust note. I could just tell you that right off the bat, but before I get ahead of myself, as always, let's start with pricing. And so to start pricing for the Hyundai Veloster N, we'll start at $26,900, and there is an optional and performance package I wanted to mention because we do happen to have it today. That is going to add $2,100 if you were interested. But so when it comes to the power plan on the end, powering this one is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, putting out 250 horsepower without the performance package, 275 horsepower with it, arriving at 6,000 RPM, 260 pound feet of torque either way at around 1,400 RPM. Power is sent to the front wheels through a six speed manual transmission only with rev matching. That's pretty cool. And 0 to 60 time comes in at approximately 5.3 seconds, so we will give it a little acceleration in a little bit here. Top speed 155 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 23 City 30 Highway. And so for those of you wondering what N actually is, what it stands for, all that fun stuff, it actually means Nam Yang, which is the Research and Development Center in Korea for Hyundai. That is where the name came from at least. And a fun fact for you, the man heading up Hyundai's N division is actually former head of BMW's M division. So you know, a lot of exciting things are going to be coming from Hyundai in the future. But anyways, as you probably expected, there are some driving modes for this one, including normal, eco, sport, custom, and end mode. So those driving modes are actually located on the steering wheel. Their left side is going to give you the driving modes. And that little checkered flag button on the right side, that is your end mode. And that is the button you want to keep it in. Why? I'll get a little bit into that later. But for now, I think it is time. Let's do a quick little acceleration in this end. And let's see how quickly we can get this one up to speed. But not only that, I also kind of want to test out how this thing shifts. And by the way, so far it's been shifting just fine. Easy to find the grab point. So I guess I can already tell you that there's no issues with clutch feel or anything like that. It's definitely quite nice there. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. The exhaust note is ridiculous. Acceleration is pretty nice. There's a slight bit of torque steer, so I wouldn't say it's quite on the level as like a Civic Type R perhaps when it comes to torque steer, but exhaust note far surpasses the Civic Type R. And really, you shouldn't even be comparing these two because this one is quite substantially less expensive than that anyways, but acceleration is definitely quite nice. We'll definitely put a smile on your face, especially when it comes to that exhaust note. Whenever you let off the gas, whenever you downshift, let's do it again. Rev match. Oh, did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh, I'm just having too much fun in this thing. By the way, there's a shift line indicator I just noticed as well, just up top of the gauges there. Even cooler, this car just keeps getting so much sweeter every single second here. All right, so anyways, done with the acceleration. Touching on braking a little bit because that is equally important. When it comes to braking, there are 13 inch ventilated front discs, 11.8 inch solid rear discs, and if you went with that performance package that we have today, those brakes are actually upsized to 13.6 inch ventilated front discs, 12.4 inch solid rear discs. As far as my short driving stint today, I've had absolutely no issues with the brake feel. Definitely on the firm side, which is a good thing in a performance car. But so then touching on the handling and suspension a little bit, I can tell you first thing right off the bat, steering feel is definitely on the heavier side. But so anyways, you will get a McPherson strut front suspension, a multi-link rear suspension, and there is some additional underbody reinforcement as well as a limited slip differential if you go with the performance pack otherwise you're not going to get that one so really performance pack is where it's at with this one ride quality actually hasn't been too bad definitely no issues for me there cabin noise is absolutely glorious i love hearing that back pressure or backfire whatever it is in the cabin and then when it comes to visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back it is a little bit less visibility than i guess you could say you would get in a volkswagen golf or something like that but still absolutely no issues for me and but so now enough with the driving dynamics. Let me back this thing up and let's get set up for some exterior shots here of this 2019 Hyundai Vloster N. And so starting up front, you will find LED headlights that come standard along with LED daytime running lights as well. Also, there will be a N specific front fascia with the N logo within that front grille. And you will also find red accents throughout the exterior of the N, not only on the front bumper, but the side skirts. And there's going to be red brake calipers as well. And so if you were one who did not like those red accents, 
sense. Simply go with a red exterior and it kind of all just blends right in. But then make your way to the side. There are two doors on the passenger side. I always love this about this car. Two doors on the passenger side, one door on the driver's side, and that's a Vloster thing. Gloss black, power adjustable, heated side mirrors will come standard. Also take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch alloy wheels with Michelin Pilot Super Sport summer tires will come standard. However, if you went with the performance pack, that is going to be upsized to 19 inch alloy wheels with Pirelli Zero summer tires. And then make your way to the back on this one. End specific rear spoiler will come standard finish in a gloss black. Rear window wiper also back there along with end badging and LED tail lights with Floster etched into them as well. So it's kind of cool seeing that. Also just below it all, a rear diffuser with large dual exhaust outlets. And there is a variable exhaust valve system when you go with the performance pack. And that is part of the reason why this one sounds so lovely. So you guys know what we have to do next. Probably the best part of this video as always here is that exhaust clip. So Benel, since we are round back to open that rear hatch, there actually is a button on the key fob to unlock it if you like, so simply press that. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 19.9 cubic feet. If that was not enough space for you, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for a good bit of extra space there if you needed it. Make your way up to the rear legroom. That comes in at 34.1 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Also for those rear passengers, they will find rear cup holders. And once again, for the rear passengers, they may only enter through the passenger side of this one. Driver's side, once again, only has one door. Then make your way up to the front seats. Cloth seats with blue stitching will come standard and there will be N lettering in the seating as well. Looking forward, you will find a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It will come standard leather wrapped and there is a small N logo at the bottom of the steering wheel and to the left and the right, it is a perforated leather. So that's also quite nice. Then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. It is an N specific key, hence the logo on the one side. But then when you flip it over, you got lock unlock and again, that button to pop the rear hatch. But regardless, you will find a push button start either way. So all I am going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and clutch and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. Then once started up and specific gauges you will find, tachometers on your left, speedometers on your right, a small digital display front and center, and that end logo is going to be within that tachometer as well. But when it comes to that digital display, you can actually scroll through a couple different things by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there, for instance, your tire pressure at any given time. Also with driving mode you're in, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. And you can also display a digital speedometer as well if you wanted to but make your way to overall interior quality. One of the first things I noticed, alloy foot pedals. That's definitely quite nice. Dual USB charging ports will also come standard. And I gotta say, I like the blue accents kind of scattered about this one. Specifically, there's a blue accented line on the shifter there, but also the best part, the North Carolina Tar Heel Blue seat belts in this one. That is quite nice. I always love different color seat belts. I don't know why, but let's check out the tech display now on this one. Eight inch color touchscreen display will come standard with Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Therefore, if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the end here and you will get free navigation as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up there. And of course, you can check out your radio settings up there as well if you wanted to. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, an Infinity 8 speaker sound system with a subwoofer will come standard actually on the end. So I think you guys know what we have to do next here. Let's turn on the radio and see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Bass is pretty ridiculous. I gotta admit, that was some sweet bass. Definitely plenty of loudness. This is a smaller car. You really don't need that many speakers on this thing, but the bass definitely hits hard, I gotta say. So another thing on the tech display, I actually just noticed there is an end mode button on the tech display. That's gonna give you a lot of cool performance statistics, including things like a performance timer or lap timer, G-force statistics, also your turbo PSI, torque, power numbers, all of that all displayed in one place. I gotta say, that is pretty cool. I like that. 
But last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display, I guess, is when you do put this one in reverse, and by the way, to put the N in reverse, simply lift up underneath the shifter and push it into the upper left-hand corner there. And when you do that, you will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines. So you know who or what is behind you so you don't go running anything or anyone over, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so with the N, you will find front side and side curtain airbags, also latch in the back, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children. And you will also find a driver's side blind spot mirror. And so, but anyways, you guys, that is about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.